Hey, kia ora. Helen Browns here coming to you live from Topeka, Kansas for the final time. Well, especially on this trip. Um, yeah, it's been a, you know, it's a suitcase is under my eyes. It's been a wild night. Um, as they say, all, you know, the, even the best laid plans of mice and men, what was it? I don't know, I can't remember that one, but, um, went to bed early last night, got everything ready that I normally do the night before. Um, went to bed, took my little mixture of lavender, peppermint and lemon oil and uh, it was if he's seen somebody outside. Um, <laughs> so took that, knocked me out pretty fast which was awesome because uh, I knew that when I went to bed at that time I would wake up around um, 5 6 o'clock. Perfect time, get up, um, get everything else done inside the RV, take Zephy for a walk, come back, get us disconnected, sides in, feet up and on the road. That was the plan. Around just after 3 a.m. this morning, I got woken up by a weird noise. Now the AC units were going, but there was just something above that. And I was like, what the heck is that? And I was trying to figure it out. And um, my phone was, my phone had flashed a warning or something that I hadn't seen at that point. Um, and so I pull up the weather, the weather service thing and we were, there was a severe thunderstorm watch on but when I scrolled down um, a few minutes before I woke up it got switched to a warning and I was like great and it covered this entire area um, I looked at the at the um, radar map it was huge it was horrendous a lot of gr a lot of there was a big massive green with with a lot of yellow and red in there and I was like great and then it said you know um, and then the noise I could hear were the wind gusts and they were expecting wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour and I was like oh double crap um, and I'm like okay what do I need to do so the, for some reason I thought what's the slowest speed of a tornado don't ask me why that question popped into my head but I went and looked it up and the slowest speed of a tornado is 65 miles per hour and that's an F1 and I was like okay we're gonna be getting up there um, <laughs> so like because I was going back to days of living in Wellington with wind gusts and all that sort of stuff and <laughs> but yeah I don't think I've yeah probably gotten close to that and because I was trying to remember how much how many miles were in a kilometer um, or kilometers and kilometers make up my I don't remember um, and so it got pretty scary in there for a while there was a lot of booming going on fortunately it was distant there was a couple of loud claps over us Zephy was like curled up in this tight ball as close to me as she could possibly get so I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do slightly panicking praying a lot um, trying to calm my dog so I think between the two of us we calmed each other down because I just sat there and just stroked her and she just curled up in this ball next to me and just allowed me to stroke her for a very long time which she doesn't normally do um, but I could feel her fur was very tight, so I knew that she was tense. So I figured, well, if I can stroke her enough to relax her, that will help me relax as well. So there's, there's a story in that. Um, and so I was seeing these flashes of light, and I thought, that is not lightning. And so I'm like lifting up, lifting up the blind by the bed there, looking out, and there's people, because we've got um, a fifth wheel that's up on a hill over there. There's a class C that's up on the hill over there in front of us, but they're actually up on a hill. And they were out there with flashlights checking everything last night. And I'm like, oh, am I supposed to be outside checking something with a flashlight? And, and I have this, I don't know if you can see, I have this huge tree right there. Um, but, um, and I have one of the Acuasia, they have a, a little thing that shows you how how much um, if it's going to be raining how long it's going to be raining for and at what point in the next two hours you can expect what type of precipitation we didn't get any hail thankfully we got just a lot of rain we got some thunder we got some lightning we got some wind gusts and the wind gusts got up to like around 20 to 30 miles an hour which wasn't so bad I can handle that I had my my awning out I got put my awning in yesterday because the wind was picking it up and um, I thought Whenever the wind starts picking up my, like lifting up the awning and putting it back down again several times, I'm like, yeah, that's coming in. I don't want to deal with a damaged awning, especially when I'm traveling today. So then I was, so then um, we slept on and off for like the next couple of hours while all this stuff's going. I mean, for the next, well, basically they said the one, they, first of all, they said the warning went to 416 and we were still awake at that point. And then we managed to go back to sleep. Um, 
and got woken up by a huge clap of thunder right overhead at 5.15. I mean, Zephy jumped, I jumped. <laughs> we had somehow gotten into, a, into one of those sleeps that, you know, you get jolted. Um, and then um, we finally managed to get back to sleep and got woken up with wind coming through again around um, just, just over an hour ago. And so we're now up, dressed, the RV's basically packed up inside. I just got to move Zephy's food bowl and um, I think that's what I got to do. Yeah, I'm going to just put her food, for her food bowl away and take her for a walk. And I was looking at the maps and everything and everything's moving east at a fast rate and we're going west. So I am very, very grateful and thankful um, that we came through last night unscathed. Um, didn't hear any cracking or banging on the outside or on the roof. Just heard the um, the branches sweep the leaves sweeping the top of the roof because it's one of these dangly plants. So those leaves were sweeping the top of the roof there last night. And um, just trying to figure out why Zephy's got a toy. And then I remembered I haven't put her toy box away. <laughs> she has a habit after I put her toy box away of somehow getting underneath the couch. And there's like this much of a gap between the bottom of the couch and the top of her toy box and pulling toys out. I haven't figured out how she does it yet. But it is kind of, it's not a solid side, but it's not a soft side either. So she somehow managed to figure out how to, she's trying to get to the squeakers. This toy she's had since day one and she hasn't got a squeaker out of it yet. But she comes back to it every now and again. So anyway, we are very grateful and thankful that we got through that okay. They said the um, thunderstorm warning is in place till 10 o'clock this morning. So we're still under a thunderstorm warning till 10 a.m. And a lot of people have already left, judging by the number of empty spots I can see from here. Um, the one right next to us here like left like just before I got on the live. <laughs> so I don't know how long I've been on the live, like five, 10 minutes, I don't know. Um, so we're just asking, we would like to ask for prayers and positive thoughts for safe travel today, please. Whatever, whatever deity you believe in, um, we're just asking for that that circle of protection around us as we drive today because I don't know what the winds are going to be like. I was looking at one wind radar, but I, they had no key to it as to, they had like little boxes on different cities, what the wind mileage was in that city. But when it came out onto the freeways and stuff, they were covered in greens, yellows and reds. And I have no idea. There's, there was no key to say, if it's green, it's between this mileage. If it's yellow, it's between this mileage. If it's red, it's between this. And we have a long day of travel today. We've got um, 209 miles to go, which is one of our longest trips. It'll take us in good traveling conditions. So in perfect traveling conditions, it would take us um, with, um, with our breaks, with our rest stop breaks, it would take us about six hours. Um, five, yeah, five to, between five and six hours. Um, I already have the rest areas listed down and I don't care if I go rest area hopping and have to take a nap at half of them. Um, I haven't got a lot of sleep last night, but um, we're going to be keeping an eye on everything. My water bottle up front's full. Um, I'm going to be taking some vitamin B's to help with the energy and uh, some protein. And uh, the problem is I don't have really have anywhere to put snacks within reach when I'm driving. So, um, the setup it's just weird and uh I'll see if he's like what's going on in there what's going on I gotta... she's walking up and something caught her attention out there but we've got people outside who are packing up getting ready to leave along with us so the weather system the weather front is going east we're going west so I'm praying for excellent I oh, know I am setting the intention today for an awesome day of travel with little to no wind, the the little wind the little wind bursts I can handle. The strong wind gusts, um, that gets scary. That gets very scary, and I slow right down. And along here on the freeways, they say a minimum of forty. Well, sometimes I will travel at thirty based on the wind conditions. I have done that. Um, so, but I'll be going along at my little sixty three. Unless it gets too windy, then I'm going to slow down and crawl because the slower I am, the heavier I become. The faster I am, the lighter the vehicle becomes and gets easily and gets buffed easier in the wind. So, but the wind direction was coming from northwest, west northwest. Was it west northwest or northwest north? It's going from somewhere from the northwest, um, and we're going to be traveling west. So it will be kind of hitting us 
kind of on the side as we travel depending which way the road's facing as well because I know it does a kink at some point um, so anyway that's it for today your challenge for today is it's thankful Thursday be you know begin the day with a grateful heart which I am extremely grateful that we got through all of this unscathed although I haven't been up on the roof to check up there but I only have the AC units and both of them have been working fine um, plus I need to park next to something that I can step on to get onto my ladder um, and I don't I don't have a little portable ladder yet yet it's on the list I have a list um, but yeah so for your mindset begin each day with a grateful heart so be thankful for what you have um, what you have right now be thankful for what you are going to receive um, one of my friends um, has a saying thankful um, thank you I am receiving so I'm putting that out there today that thank you I am receiving um, in your business be thankful for your clients your vendors your peers your employees um, anybody that helps you run your business um, anybody that helps you run your business so there's you that runs the business you you'll have a team behind you because nobody can build a business by themselves you've got vendors you're using like accountants and lawyers and maybe printers and um, VAs and assistants and all of that they are all part of your team whether they're actually in the office with you or they're they're outside the office in their own little own little cocoon somewhere um, so be thankful for all of them and then the clients that support your business and then the peers who you bounce ideas off and get together and brainstorm with um, if you belong to a mastermind group um, be thankful for every person in that mastermind group as well um, because if you've been in um, ones like I have or the one that I'm currently in I've been in it for seven seven years now eight years 2014 so two th yeah so six years um, some of those people in there have, be um, have become like family to me and I love 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 the group and um, I love following the success that goes with that so I'm very thankful to be part of that group and the people that are in that group um, for your fun thing today be thankful for the for the family that you have and your family could be blood related it could not be blood related you might have friends who are closer to you than siblings um, so be thankful for them they're part of your family you know your friends and family that friends and family circle be grateful for those people who are in your life that help you that inspire you um, and take the time now to acknowledge them and say thank you for being in my life thank you for being an important part of my life there was a story I heard a couple of days ago um, about a guy who went to send he wanted to send a thank you card I think it was to a teacher to a teacher he had had there was somebody of influence in his life that he had had and he wanted to acknowledge them and send them a card and so he's looking around for he's um, googling them and their obituary pops up so he missed that chance to say thank you um, don't waste that chance any chance you are given any opportunity that comes by grab it be thankful for it um, call those people you love say thank you tell them you love them because life is short <sighs> I didn't expect to get emotional today so sorry but life is short so don't wait until you find an obituary notice to see that you missed your chance take those chances today if you get something pressing on your heart to do go do it if you get somebody that you need to call or that maybe you need to forgive or be thankful to and let them know that go tell them otherwise you could end up thinking oh I'm gonna go tell that person that and searching for their inf their contact information and stuff searching for them online and you find their obituary don't waste that opportunity don't waste that opportunity go grab it be thankful for everything you have in your life be thankful for everybody in your life and have a super fantastic sparkling day. Hekonera.